men to reach for his dreams. Through, through his marathon of freedom to head, head cycling across Canada, Sunny made many contacts with the media, locals, and firefighters in the communities he traveled through. Sunny made an impact in every community. spins around the sun, all right? That's what I say. A part of me kind of went, yeah, right. But the other part of me went, well, hang on a second, if he is right, I better get cracking. You know, what, what it is that I got to do down here to, to feel fully given and, uh, and, and free from that, you know, and, uh, and making sure that I'm living a life of purpose, you know? And so, on my 30th birthday, at a muscular dystrophy walk in Victoria, BC, uh, myself and my small humble team uh, began pushing wheels uh, east. And uh, three months and nine, uh, and nine days later, we, uh, we landed in Thunder Bay, right at the Terry Fox Memorial. And it was there we decided to call Journey's End. But the fundraising and the awareness kept going through the year. We had uh, the firefighters and um, the Fire Within helped us produce a calendar that, uh, that we sold throughout the year. And uh, gosh, you know, it's kind of difficult selling a 2011 calendar in mid-year, you know? Like, it's a good challenge, you know? <laughs> but uh, but we, we did it, and, uh, and I'm just so grateful for, uh, of course, you know, the firefighters. You guys played an instrumental role in escorting us in and out of major cities, you know, stopping traffic. What a feeling, having traffic stopped for you, <laughs> you know? Thanks. Um, but uh, out of you know, out of so many people that were involved with the uh, with the marathon of freedom, uh, Terry, Joanne, and uh, the firefighters that uh, that were kind of that we were in contact with all the whole time, and and, uh, and really su supporting us on the home base end while we were on the road. Uh, I, I'd like to take this moment to acknowledge uh, uh, somebody that's here with me today that came on the road with me last minute and basically. Uh, you know, kind of gave up life for a little while and dropped everything, uh, family and, uh, and work, and, and just to sort of dedicate uh, some time to, to the cause, you know, and, and raising some, uh, I just call it love, all right, love in general, because what our purpose was to, was to bring love, awareness, money, and above all, inspiration. And so uh, it, it, I'd like to take a moment, if everyone can just help me uh, in giving a round of applause to Twyla Martin, who's behind the camera right here. Stand up, Twyla. All right. on the road and uh, anyways um, we, uh, we, we, we collected lots of footage and so uh, <laughs> there you go yeah and uh, okay uh, you know we can share this together uh, 
it says back here, uh, you know, a teamwork, together we achieve the extraordinary, and it was an extraordinary time. And uh, I, really, uh, I really appreciate you guys seeing us, and uh, we see you, and uh, you know, I, I always like to say, there, there, is, there is a cure. It's, it's here already, and if, if we just sort of rise to that, and imagine it's already happened, it's, we can just sort of play magic with it and go, all right, we found it already, and, and then, and of course, be that change, be the cure. And not wait for science. Meet science halfway. That was my intention with, uh, with getting up and going, alright, if I'm going to die on my 30th birthday, I'm going to do it on purpose. <laughs> Turns out I was still there, I hung around a little longer, and here I am today. So, thank you so much, and uh, to more to the, in, the, in the future, you know? <laughs> I don't know how to do it.